Jax has always been a soldier, an officer. Um, he has served. He he has never been racist that way, apparently. But I am racist. Welcome back, everyone. It's The Goof, bringing you some brand new content. Now, today, we're going to start a new video series called Wiseless, a series that is dedicated to those on the internet that are lacking wisdom, overall common sense, or who are just plain stupid. Get it? Goofy wise? Wiseless? Mm. Now, today is a very interesting situation. We all have those times where we see people on our timeline that go viral for calling the cops on someone else for just doing everyday activities. And usually these situations involve someone who is white calling the cops on someone who is black. For whatever reason, I'm not sure. <coughs> Racism. <coughs> Discrimination. <coughs> you have Barbecue Betty who called the cops on black people for having a barbecue at a park. I hear you have a problem with these gentlemen having a barbecue here at the lake. What's going on? She doesn't want to talk now. Uh, it's illegal to have a charcoal grill in the park here. No, it's not actually. I just yeah, looked at the it map. Is. It says this is a designated barbecue area. You have Permit Patty who called the cops on a schoolgirl for selling water bottles for a school fundraising. The woman known as Permit Patty reportedly said she didn't actually call the police on a child who was selling water on a San Francisco sidewalk. But phone recordings obtained by a local news station prove otherwise. San Francisco 911, what's the exact location? Hi, yes. I'm on the sidewalk. Hi, I'm having someone that um, does not have a vendor permit that's selling water across from the ballpark. You have Poolside Pete who called the cops on a, bl a black mom and her child for swimming in a community pool that he did not believe they belonged to. So he asked for my address, I gave it to him. Okay. And then he came back and said, well, I didn't as long catch your as address. It, as long as I it matches I Sally Kirk, I'm, I'm fine. Correctly. I'm just here with my baby, swimming. These situations all involve someone calling the cops or signaling the alarm for a problem that doesn't even exist. Now, these absurd situations have spilled over to the video game world with YouTuber Liana K, or Alarmist Alley, if you will. <laughs> when she decided to signal the alarm of racism when she saw the ending for Jax in Mortal Kombat 11. Now in Mortal Kombat 11, when you beat the game with one character, you get an, a special story ending that allows them to gain to a power called the Sands of Time, which allows them to rewrite history in their own way they see, they see fit. Now Jax, being a black man who potentially might care about black issues in America, what Jax decided to do with the power to rewrite history was go back in time, eliminate slavery and racism in America, and ultimately make a better world for everyone. All I wanted was to fix my life. Now I have the power to fix history. Raiden warns me, I can't fix everything. Change too much and I could lose Vera, lose Jackie. But this power is bigger than us. If I think only about helping myself, what kind of officer am I? What kind of man? I've been lucky. My family and I have lived the American dream. But most people who look like me haven't had that chance. I owe it to them to put things right. And I'm not waiting centuries for people to get woke when I've got the power to speed things up. I don't get it right the first time, or the second, or even the third. But eventually, I knock it out of the damn park. My family's back. The world's a better place for everyone. Turns out, you can have everything. Anyone who says you can't needs to dream bigger. Sounds noble, right? To want to rewrite history and take away something that has caused millions of people pain and suffering and systematic oppression that even affects us even today. Now, Alarish Ali ha feels differently about this. Over the span of several videos responding to all the backlash that she got from her initial video, she's gone as far as to say as Jax is racist. He, he has never been racist. Jax's character is ruined and also that he is a villain. Really makes Jax out to be kind of scary and evil too. That's scary. That's, J Jax has become a villain. 
and even go so far as to compare him to Thanos. A misguided, bitter man wipes out half the people in a portion of the universe to save humanity from itself. You might think I'm describing Jax, but I'm not. I'm actually describing Thanos. <sighs> this is a new level of dumb. Okay, first off, I don't, I don't feel like I should have to say this, but I'm going to say it. Jax is not racist for this ending. The definition of racism is prejudice, discrimination, or antagonism directed against someone of a different race based on the belief that one's own race is superior. The belief that all members of each race possess characteristics or abilities specific to that race, especially so as to distinguish it as inferior or superior to another race or races. There it is. Nowhere in the story ending for Jax did he explicitly say that he wanted black people to be over white people. No, he literally said word for word he wanted a better world for everyone. That does not make you racist. And wanting to go back in time and heal the wounds that have been done to people that look like you simply because they look a certain way does not make you racist either. It is not wrong to feel empowerment for your race, but it is wrong to want to empower yourself over others. <clears throat> she goes on to say that Jax has created some black ethno state. Basically, Jax has created, apparently, a black ethno state. No, this is simply Africa if slavery and colonization never existed. So why are you upset about this? Would you be mad if somebody went back in time and decided to, to kill Hitler? Or to stop the, a Holocaust from ever happening? Nobody was be upset about this. Then she tries to make Jax out to be some kind of villain or tyrant because he decides to go back and make a decision for the greater good for everybody who happens to be black or everybody in general. That way, did he ask them if he wanted their experience changed or if they just wanted things to be better for them now? No, he didn't, which makes him a tyrant. But if you think about any other good character on Mortal Kombat, what do they do when they get the sands of time? They shape the world and reality in their own way they see fit. So if she's going to call Jax a tyrant, then so is Raiden, so is Kung Lao, so is any other character that did not consult the entire race of individuals for, for the greater good. So the question begs you, why is there a problem that Jax decides to do this with his ending? Now he's the villain because he said decides to help African Americans? That makes him a villain? As to whether Ali is actually racist or not, like many people that are calling her after seeing all the things she said in her videos, I don't know. She might just be really ignorant or dumb. Or maybe she's just calling this out for clicks and views to her channel. Or maybe all of the above. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think on this situation. Like and subscribe for more content. I'm trying to kick out more weekly videos. So stay locked in for more content coming your way. I'm Goofy Wise. And this has been your Wise List of the Week. Let's go.